Aren't those cool, girl? This is like something straight out of Waterworld. Day four, here with the boom parents. Bob and Debbie are taking us out on the boat. So, pretty excited about that. They say that uh, if you're lucky, you can see dolphins. So, all right. I'm hoping we see some of them. You see dolphins every time? Oh, that's cool. We got my niece, Franny, back here. Where is Maisie? Oh, okay. We see dolphins right in here, even. Really? Yeah. Take me to a place in the nowhere. I just want to set up a home there. I just want to set up a home there. I heard people stay in the nowhere. I just want to breathe in the clean air. I just want a breath of the clean air. And feel the And we could like, I mean, that's a good little I could do eyelash glue and stick them onto you and you could put the mermaid tail back on. Did Denali, tell them what this is. Coke and peanuts. Coke and peanuts. So this is a Kentucky thing. My mother-in-law is born and raised in Kentucky. And she says this is a big thing in Kentucky. So it's good, huh? And then the peanuts float to the bottom and then they taste kind of like Coke or? The whole thing kind of has a peanut flavor. Mm. Aren't those cool, girl? This is like something straight out of Waterworld. So this part of the boating trip was probably my favorite. Bob and Debbie took us out to see the ruins of the famous dome home that was built on Cape Romano. There was something about it that I just loved and instantly when we got back to my in-laws place I got online and googled everything that I could about the dome house so I can't wait to share it all with you guys. So the house was originally built by a guy named Bob Lee and he was an independent oil producer and engineer. Bob and his wife loved vacationing in the Marco Island area so he bought seven acres on Cape Romano and started building his dream home in 1979. The home was made of concrete dome-like structures that were meant to withstand the winds from tropical storms. Bob used sand from the island to make the concrete, and after a couple years of hard work, the home was finished in 1981. It was a four bedroom, four bath, complete with solar panels, a water system, two refrigerators, satellite TV, and a hot tub. The property was valued at $1.5 million. Bob and his family lived in the home from 1981 till 1992 when Hurricane Andrew blew out the windows and caused massive water damage. Between this and sand eroding at a faster rate on the coastline beaches, Bob abandoned the property two years later. In 2005, John Tosto bought the property for only $300,000. Could you imagine only having to pay $300,000 for your own private island getaway? 
I mean, yes, the beach was eroding, and yes, the property was pretty close to falling into the ocean at that point, but John Tosto had a plan and he was going to move the homes further inland and put up a seawall. But because of all these restrictions and such with the county, he was never able to do that. Eventually, the county got upset with Mr. Tosto and hit him with a million dollars worth of fines. So the homes sat there inching closer every day to the ocean becoming a dilapidated mess. As of today, the county has condemned the property and two of the domes have fallen into the sea. And now it's just a really neat place to go visit. So I highly suggest that if you are in the Marco Island area in Florida, that you go check it out because it's pretty extraordinary to look at. Bob Lee has since passed away, but his daughter has actually done several interviews with different publications from the area regarding her childhood home that I found really interesting. And then also I found a video, a home video that she herself took many years ago where she gives a house tour. So you are able to see the inside of the house just as it was back in like the late 80s, early 90s. It's really neat. I suggest you guys check out the video. Obviously the video quality is not the best because it was done on like an old school camcorder, but it's still super neat to see. And I will link that video in the description box below for you guys. Hey guys, so we are back home. Um, our trip vlog got cut short because well my camera quit working on our vacation it's just like a whole long story but I, I tried to get one down at Best Buy there in Naples and then they didn't have it and Fort Myers was out of stock of it so I had to wait till I got back home to have the camera shipped to me so that was a really big bummer turning on my camera by like the fourth or fifth day and realizing that I was gonna miss out on most of our vacation. So that really sucks. But it's Friday the 26th and Dan, my guitar player slash band manager, um, asked me if I would do just like an acoustic duo with him tonight at this bar that we used to play at all the time. But I think now instead of having full bands because of COVID, they're just doing like acoustic stuff. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. Um, but I've never done this before. Like I've never done just an acoustic guitar and me. <laughs> Um, I feel like when you have a whole band, you can hide behind a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like vocally, you can hide behind the drums and the bass and the backing tracks and and performing, really. You know, like you jump around on stage. Like you know that you suck at this song, but that's okay. Like you jump and you spin around and whatever. And I feel like when it's acoustic, it's like, whoa. You know, like it's completely you and your voice that can be heard. <laughs> so, um, I'm a bit sketched out about it, but I know it'll be fun. I know once I get up there, it'll be fine. I think my sister Maggie and one of her friends are coming tonight. So that'll be good to have her support. So I'm dressed pretty, like pretty toned down. Maggie told me that I should go kind of boho. Um, I don't know if what I'm wearing is really boho, but, um, She's like, yeah, go more like hippie boho because, you know, it's just acoustic. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. So that is where I'm going. I'm going to try. I brought my tripod. So I'm going to try to set up the camera to get some video for you guys tonight. We only play till 10 o'clock. So it's going to be an early night, which is awesome. I'm still a little shaky on some songs. So I am going to do some warm ups on my way to the club and work on a couple songs and I will see you guys there. Take this pink ribbon off my eyes I'm exposed and it's no big surprise Don't you think I know exactly where I stand This world is forcing me to hold your hand Cause I'm just a girl, a little lonely Well, don't let me out of your sight I'm just a girl, a pretty Oh, let me out. 
So I made it um, through my first ever acoustic show. And you guys, I don't know if, if you can tell, I can tell, but I'm pretty hoarse today. Last night, it got really bad. So the third set, our first set was killer. It was killer and I didn't record anything from the first set because I was just so concerned about like sounding good, remembering lyrics and just, you know, having my shit together. So I didn't start recording video until the second set and I really wish I would have recorded the first set because it was really, really good. All in all, you guys, it was a fantastic evening. It was a whole lot of fun, a very, um, a very different but neat experience to do it acoustic like that. It was really cool and it's always like made me nervous. It's always been a fear of mine. I've been asked by other musicians to sit in and do acoustic with them when they've needed a singer and I always turn it down because I've just always been really like scared honestly to do it and so I'm happy that I overcame that fear now. So if somebody calls me and wants me to sit in on an acoustic thing now I'm like okay I can do it. I can totally do it. So I'm glad I'm glad I forced myself to do something that made me uncomfortable because that's what helps you get better and that's what helps you learn. But as for this vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed our Florida trip. Um, if you are not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps engagement on my channel. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.